Hi, how you all doing? It's Game here, and today I will be teaching you guys how to tweak FSX and FSX Steam Edition for best graphics and FPS. And now, in this tutorial, I will be going through my FSX config and all the tweaks that I will put it into the config, and I will also go through my NVIDIA Inspector settings. But let's forget about NVIDIA Inspector for now, and let's uh, take a look at the config. And if you don't know where to find the FSX config, you're just gonna hit the Windows key and R at the exact same time. So, oh, I didn't do it at the exact same time there. Do like this. And now, type in this percent app data percent and hit OK. And this should open up this. And now just go to Microsoft. And then go to FSX, there it was. And this is your FSX. CFG, FSX.CFG, this is your config. But, but before you try and tweak this, I would recommend you to make a copy of it. I'm not going to do it now because I have already done it before I tweaked my FSX config, but I would recommend you to do that before you start. So with that being said, let's jump into the FSX config here and let's go through all my tweaks. The first tweak that I put in is Job Scheduler Affinity Mask equals 14. And this is basically just for you quad core processor users, but I think a lot of you guys are using a quad core now. And what this basically will do is that it will try and equally spread FSX onto different cores because FSX only uses one core unless you put in this tweak. But now you can also put in, I think it is 84, if it's not 84, or maybe it's 86, but if it's not 84, uh, I'll put some text on the screen right now, but if you are running a quad-core processor with hyper-threading, put 84, but if you are not running a quad-core processor with hyper-threading, with hyper-threading, put in 14. Now the next tweak is buffer pools, pool size equals zero. And what this will do is that it will kind of disable the FSX uh, buffer pools. And what that gives you is higher FPS because it will kind of send the data kind of directly from the processor to the graphics card, which will give you higher FPS. And then guys, I would probably say that this is the most important tweak, and that is graphics. You have to put it on the graphics, which is right here. Put in high mem fix equals one. And what this does, it it just gives you so it's just so good. It's the best tweak that is existing, I promise you. You put in this, you will get higher FPS, I promise you. So put in high mem fix equals 1 under the graphics section. Now let's move over to display where we have wide view aspect equals true. And this is if you are running on a widescreen monitor, which I think that all of you have now, you're going to have to set it as tr to true and not false. And I also have texture bandwidth with mult equals 40 and a lot of you guys probably has have this set to a lot more but there is no need to put it to any higher than 40 so i have fiber frame time fraction is 0 0.15 and there is a lot of you guys are probably having this set to a little bit higher as well but there is no need to do that because the fiber frame time fraction will, will uh, take the CPU time given from the scenery loader in relation to the time spent rendering. So it will basically, it's a relation between the scenery loader and faster FPS. If you run it lower, you will get more FPS, but don't put this to zero. Because they will, this will give your CPU no time to load the scenery. So don't put this to zero. And, then, and the next one I have under main is... Where is it? Hide info text 1. 
hide info text one there it is and what this does is that if you for example are braking or having the parking brake set it will pop up a little red box right here or wherever you have it where it says parking brake and if you put hide info text one it will disable that so you won't see that if you're applying brakes it won't pop up like red text where it says braking or whatever it says so I have this set to one because I don't want that and so <laughs> please set it to one if you want to you don't have to but I would recommend it to set it to one and now the last tweak that I have set in is under display let's find display here where is display no it's terrain sorry it is terrain and that is the LOD radius I've set mine to six point five zero 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 blah 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 zero 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 and this basically is the radius the distance that the scene will load quite highly detailed and I would recommend this to set to 6.5 and then a lot of zeros because if you set it to higher uh, your FPS will drop quite a lot but you, uh, and if you don't have really good CPU or quite bad computer you might want to set it to even lower than 6.5 but a little important thing to keep in mind is that if you are messing around with the settings in game in FSX, this will change back to default, which is 4.5. So if you are changing around in the settings in FSX, you have to go into the config and change this to 6.5 again. So we are now done with the config tweaking. Now we're going to move over to NVIDIA Inspector, but if you want to download my exact config, you can click the link in the description, and this will uh, download my config. And you can also download this as well, all of my FSX tweaks, if, if you want this one as well, but that is really easy to make, but if you want to download my config, click the link in the description down below. Okay, so this is NVIDIA Inspector, and this of course only works for NVIDIA users. But I will go through my settings here as well, so if you guys want that, stay tuned. So, uh, I will only go through the things that I have changed, and those the things that I have changed is the things that are kind of blacked out here. So we have frame rate limiter, I have set this to 30 FPS. It's usually at 30, but it was at... Uh, it was at none I think it was at off but set it to 30 if you want the FPS to lock at 30 and maximum pre-rendered frames I have mine set to 3 and vertical sync or V sync I have set mine to this right here but this is where the kind of a little bit of math comes in because this kind of depends on what kind of monitor you have because I have locked my FPS at 30 FPS, I have and I have a 60 Hz monitor. I'm gonna set mine to one and two right here, because 60 minus 30 is 60, or just 30 times two is 60. So then you want to have this. But if you have a 120 Hz monitor and you have locked your FPS at 30, you won't have it at uh, this right here. Alright, so the next is anti-aliasing behavior flags, I have mine set to none, then we have uh, anti-aliasing mode, override any application setting, then we have anti-aliasing setting which is 8xs combined 1x2ss plus 4xms, right, so, and then we have anti-aliasing transparency super sampling, that is 4x super sampling, then we have Androscopic filtering mode is usually defined uh, and off. Then we have anisotropic filtering setting. Six, I've set mine to 16x. And then we have texture filtering, negative LO D bias. I've set mine to clam. Then we have high quality on texture filtering. Then we have power managing mode, prefer maximum performance. And this is all of my NVIDIA inspector settings. Now just hit apply, you can save it if you want to. And this is also in the description down below if you want to download 
my NVIDIA inspector files as well. So guys, thank you so much for watching this tutorial. If you learned something new, give it a thumbs up. And please leave some comments down below where you tell me if you got any extra FPS or what happened to your flight sim. And I will try and help you out the best that I can if it wasn't really the best settings. But now hopefully you learned something new. As I said, give it a thumbs up and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.